Whitney and her mom, Heidi, were at Disney on one of their annual girls' trips there. They told Cinderella that Whitney just hadn't met her special person yet. And Cinderella said, you might just want to loosen up your shoelaces a little bit. Whitney met Chris, her Prince Charming, a month later. She called me and she said, Mom, I think I've met the man I'm going to marry. I heard the joy in her voice. And I could just tell by the tone in her voice that this wasn't just any date. I take notes of important things in my phone, things that I want to remember. And I entered the following note on June 25th of 2017. Whitney told me about her first date with Chris. And in that moment, I knew it was her last first date. Whitney has been dreaming of this day since she was a little girl. I remember walking into her room, and there she was, all dressed up in her wedding finest. She was probably about five years old. And um, she had frills and pearls and lace. And now I look at you, and I see her all dressed up again, and the love in her eyes and yours. And it just makes my heart very happy. What's up, Chica? <laughs> it is booby <movie> for is it? <laughs> Mwah. Oh my god, you're gorgeous. Hi. Hi. Look at you. Big old bow and everything. <laughs> Three years ago, I thought I was just going to a brunch with friends. Turned out that God had different plans. I felt that spark with you immediately and just could not stop thinking about you. You have shown me a love that I didn't know existed. You have brought my heart what it has been seeking, a soulmate. What is it you want, Wit? What do you want? You want the moon. Just, just say the, the word and I'll, I'll throw a lasso around, around it. it. Pull it down. down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, all right? I'll take it. In what? I now present, yes, Whitney and Chris Morales. When Chris asked me to be his best man tonight, um, it's one of the few things that left me speechless in life. He's been the best friend a person could ever ask for. Four years ago, Chris was visiting me in Chicago. And we got off the plane, and right from the start, he was talking about this woman he had just met. And Whitney, he would not stop talking about He said, you were beautiful, you were fun. And somehow, Whitney, we met a few months later, and you managed to exceed every sky-high expectation Chris had set for you.
Calling you both friends has been one of the greatest honors of my life. You're both incredible people, and the union you formed today is really something special. I know I speak for everyone here when I say we can't wait to see all the great things life has in store for the two of you. There's no doubt in my mind that my best friend is a real-life Disney princess and that all she was missing was her prince.